Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. Today I have prepared a very easy problem for you and I hope that most of you would be able to solve this problem on your own. So as usual I recommend you to stop video here, read the problem, try to solve it and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. And here is the problem. In humans uh, brown eyes are usually dominant over blue eyes. Suppose a blue eyed man marries a brown eyed woman whose father was blue-eyed. What proportion of their children would you predict would have blue eyes? And in order to solve this problem, let me uh, list all the alleles and genotypes that uh, alleles uh, can make. So let uh, capital A allele stand for the brown color or uh, genes that produce uh, brown pigment or we also may call it allele because we have another variant of the same gene that is a small a allele that would produce uh, blue eyes so uh, these two alleles can make uh, three genotypes one would be capital a capital a and that means this would be brown eyes Another variant would be capital A and small a, and this also would be uh, brown eyes if a person would have this genotype. And the last variant would be small a, small a. And this variant uh, means uh, blue eyes. So uh, let's now analyze our problem. We told that uh, blue-eyed man and that means this man belong to this uh, genotype here uh, marries brown-eyed woman whose father was blue-eyed so uh, let us build a Punnett square so here is a female who is uh, brown-eyed but we don't know whether she is uh, homozygous for this uh, trait or heterozygous. But we know for sure that at least one allele would be dominant A. So we can list her genotype as uh, dominant A and blank space. What we know about uh, her, we know that uh, of course everyone would have a mother and a father. We don't know genotype of her mother but we know the genotype of her father was a small a small a because her father was blue-eyed. And uh, now let's consider her um, phenotype. We know about her that she at least have to have one uh, dominant allele A in order to be brown eyed but uh, her father only can give her uh, whether this small allele A or this small allele A there is no other variance so now we know that her genotype would be capital A small a so a female would be heterozygous and her mother can be with a capital A small a genotype or capital A capital A. In any case uh, such genotype uh, means that uh, her mother could provide her this dominant allele and uh, if her genotype would be capital A capital A also this variant give a probability that uh, uh, she got her dominant allele from her mother so uh, these two possible genotypes of her mother we cannot uh, say more than this and we can say for sure that genotype of her father was small a small a and now we 100 percent sure that uh, this female genotype is capital a small a her eyes brown we also know that according to our problem she marries a man whose uh, phenotype would be blue eyes and that means that genotype is also 
predictable it's going to be small a small a so only one variant uh, would stand for this um, phenotype only one variant of the genotype so uh, now we have to find what is the probability uh, if they would have children uh, unspecified sex because uh, this is not sex uh, linked trait so sex of the children doesn't affect uh, this uh, trait eye color and uh, it's very easy now to find the probability for their children to be blue-eyed when we built a Punnett square. So we have a genotype for mother that is capital A and small a. And genotype of the father that is small a, small a. And when we built a Punnett square, we can find all the possible genotypes, phenotypes and their frequencies. So here, capital A, small a, small a, small a here, capital A, small a here, and small a, small a here. As you see, this genotype means blue-eyed phenotype, and this genotype here means uh, brown eyes. And as you see, the probability for this couple to have children with blue eyes would be 50%. And this is going to be our answer today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.